This is a how-to guide for calibration and firmware upgrades for your KumbaCam third generation smartphone stabilizer. First thing we're going to do is plug in your USB from your computer to your stabilizer. Once you have it plugged in, you should see the red light on the back indicating that it's charging. And what you're going to do is you're going to hold down the joystick and hold the power button. And you're going to feel the motor give a little move and then you're going to let go. And once you have it powered on, you're going to come over here and open up your gimbal tools, which will open this. And then you're going to hit open. As you can see, it's a uh, you got your numbers moving around which shows that it's connected. Um, from here you're going to come over to firmware upgrade. You're always going to want to do your firmware upgrade first if you uh, are planning on doing a calibration. You're going to come over here to firmware upgrade. Um, once you have downloaded the third, uh, the third gen firmware from the website, you're going to want to save it to your desktop or just a place you know where it's located and uh, hit browse. And it's right here on my desktop. It's the PTZ file is what it's going to be, 1.50. You're just going to double click it. It's going to come up. And then you're just going to hit upgrade. And from there, you're going <clears> to <throat> come over to IMU Calibration, which is going to calibrate your motors. Okay, and then once that's done, you're going to go ahead and hit Close. You're going to power off your gimbal. And then power it back on, doing the same thing, holding the power button and pressing in the joystick at the same time. You'll get the little movement. And then you're going to come back, go over to IMU Calibration, hit Open, uh, and then you're going to hit Calibration. And for step one, I mean, basically you're just going to be following the pictures. And each time you complete a step, it will move on to the next step and give you a different picture that you need to match up. Step two, I'm basically going to flip it all the way around. Step three, let it come back. And that's going to be facing down for step three. And then step four, all you're going to do is flip it. Step five, just grab the motor here, flip it this way, and then clamp is going to be facing outwards. I'm trying to get you a good shot of what this side looks like. There you go. And then all you're going to do for step six is flip the clamp back around facing in and that will do it. All these it shows the the handle being straight out like that. You can actually just rest it on the table so you can make sure that your clamp is level. That's the main thing it's looking at for these motors. And that's uh, you'll get the check mark when you're done. And that's about it. Go ahead and hit close. Power it off. And stick your phone in and you're ready to go.